I had one of these videos for 9th and people found it useful so I thought I'd do another for 10th and things are more simple in this edition. I've seen Hellstone Wargames review of line of sight issues and I'm not going to cover that in this video but I will leave a link to that video in the description. Some general things, nothing slows movement or charges. Dense cover is gone, there is just one concept of cover. Not everything can gain cover and some units can ignore obscuring if they have true line of sight. The cover save, if you gain cover then that's plus one to your armor save. There are some restrictions by terrain type, but if your unit has a 3 plus or better save already, then against AP0 attacks, they don't get cover. Movement. Moving over terrain that is less than 2 inches high doesn't impact anything. Over 2 inches high, you need to measure up and over as if you're climbing over them. Rubble and craters. Infantry gain cover. Barricades and pipes. Infantry gain cover again. And engagement is 2 inches to allow you to fight over them. Battlefield debris and hills. You gain cover if you're partially obscured. Getting slightly more complicated now. Woods. You gain cover if you're in the woods or behind them, but towering and aircraft units can ignore this type of cover. Ruins. They can block line of sight, but towering and aircraft units can ignore that obscuring effect as long as they have true line of sight to your models. So hiding against night would be more difficult. You gain cover when wholly within or partially obscured by ruins. Infantry and beasts can move through the walls. Fly units have to move around physical walls, so you're measuring up and over. As you see, things are simpler, and there are some ambiguities with some of the wording that I expect to be fixed with the writer's commentary, or perhaps a day one errata. But I'll see you again soon. Bye.